Community Viewpoint with John Pollock and Maria Hurst. Hi, welcome to Community Viewpoint. I am so happy to be back. It's been a little while, but I'm definitely back and really happy uh, to see you all. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. So, but you probably all see me around town. John is out today. He had uh, some stuff to do, but I am here today. I'm Maria Hurst. Um, I'll go ahead and reintroduce myself in case you didn't see it on the little slide back and forth. I'm here today with Tiffany Murray from the Nye Community Coalition. We're going to talk about uh, their upcoming employment expo and a little bit about what the Nye Community Coalition does from day to day. Let's go ahead and meet Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Hello. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for joining you. us. I appreciate it. I love being here. Well, we are glad about that because we this is really important information. We want to get out to the community. And um, the Nye Community Coalition has been around for a long time. They do so much in the community. Um, upcoming now, for the next, uh, in the next two Fridays, I think it's two Fridays from today, Correct. Um, is an employment expo. So let's talk a little bit about um, when it is, where it is. Okay. Um, we have been doing the employment expo for a while now. It is every three months. Uh, the last one we had was in November. It was wonderful. We had a lot of employers come out, uh, employers that we haven't had before. So that was really exciting. We are now doing the next one, and it will be Friday, February the 13th. And I'm a little nervous. We're either going to have a lot of people, or we're not. <laughs> the skeptical <laughs> ones, I don't know. Uh, it will be held at the Coalition, and it's Nine Communities Coalition. It's in the Activity Center. It's there every time. It's from 9 to 12. And if you want to come out as a business, you can. Just contact the Coalition. Uh, you can do it by calling 775 727-9970. You can ask for Tiffany or Shauna. We can also be emailed at Tiffany at NYCC.org or Shauna at NYCC.org. So you can come out as a business um, and register. You can get a booth. If you know of any other businesses that want to come out, you can let them know and they can contact us. And then we have employment seekers. So anybody who's looking for work, uh, we have a lot of vol volunteering as well. So if somebody wants to come out and would like to volunteer, that could possibly lead to being hired into a position. Um, okay. I'm an AmeriCorps, started out as a volunteer, and now I actually work at the coalition, and I'm able to do the employment expos and help people find work, and it's amazing. That's awesome. I, I want to go back a little bit to the employers. You said the employers can call you to set up. So... There, there is some advantages. Now, if you are an employer and you're looking to hire, Nye Community Coalition offers really good services for employers because you pre-screen employees. We do. We do. We can set up hiring events specifically for an employer. So if you come into town, you're starting a new business, and you want to hire 20 different people, we can do mm -hmm. that specifically. And then we also can set you up to pre-screen. So if somebody has a position that needs a degree, instead of just having everybody come in and apply, we can pre-screen and have only applicants that have the actual bachelor's or the master's or whatever degree or certificate that that employer is looking for. Mm -hmm. And it just helps kind of bring it down a little bit and make it more personal. Okay. So, so yeah. having said that, let's, let's use that to kind of go into um, certificates, people that might need special certificates, um, CPR or hazmat training or something yep. like that for an employer. Nye, County, Nye Community Coalitions actually can offer some of those things for employee uh, potential employees Correct. so that they can get pre-certified so that they are um, qualified for that specific job. We do yeah. offer different training. Um, people that come in and actually are able to meet with a case manager can get set up for training for, say, uh, changing careers. If you uh, might have been a paralegal and you can't find any work in that position, you can get training to do something else. Um, we also do offer certain classes, um, CPR, HASWOPER, things like that, and it's based on our grants, mm -hmm. so there's, there's never really a specific date or guarantee, so if they call the coalition, they can always get information on when the next one might be, 
and okay. what we do offer as far as any type of training. Okay, so the, the process to go through that then, so somebody can call, they'll call you at the 727-9970, ask for Tiffany or Shauna, and there's, there's like an orientation that will take place and then some, some classes to get them ready to go to the Employment Expo? Yes, we offer orientation uh, every Thursday at 9 a.m. And we also offer a resume builder class, and those are offered on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. And then we have a uh, job readiness that we offer on Fridays. Okay. All three of those classes will help. The orientation will tell you what we do at the coalition, and then the other two classes are what help prepare you to uh, go pick up an application, to turn it in, how to interview, what your resume should consist of, everything that you would need to make you the best candidate for that position. So okay. it's, it's wonderful that we offer these. And I want to add one more thing that's on this flyer. It might be a little small. Um, when you rewatch us on YouTube, and I know that you want to, um, when you go back and you, and, you pa and you pause it on the flyer, there's a little section in the bottom left, and it says um, if you need interview attire. So tell us a little bit about that. We have a closed closet, and it's... A very large room and we have a lot of clothes that have been donated by the community um, and a lot of it most of it is for employment we have suits for men and women we have shirts blouses dresses uh, we even have ties and shoes uh, things like that it's everything that you would need to be the most presentable and to interview and we have all that on our campus if you come in and ask it's free of charge you come in you actually go in and look at the clothes you can try them on and we want to make sure that whether it's for the employment expo or just an interview on your own, that you look the best. That's really awesome because that's, I mean, it's so stressful for a person. You know, they're, they're looking for a job. They're, they've got all these things they have to get in place. You know, they've got the application. They've got, you know, to turn it in or they have to do some online. They have to have some training. Um, and then, you know, then that's one more worry. So this kind of takes check mark that off the list and and they can not worry about that if they don't have um, you know the suit the or, or the clothes you know that can take off one one of the stresses so that's a really really neat thing and then so how about if you're out there and you're working and you're doing well and you have clothes that you want to donate does somebody just call you then and then they can donate those appropriate clothes to you so that it can they be do. given? Um, that would go through Felicia. She's at her front desk. You can either call. It's the same number. It's the 775-727-9970. And you can either call and ask for Felicia or you can bring them in to the front desk and she'll pull them all in. We get them situated and organized and then we put them in the closet and then they're available for anybody who wants to come in and we have a huge variety of sizes. So that's awesome. Some people worry that we just won't have what they're looking for, and we have a lot of stuff, and it's very nice. So I think it's definitely, we can cater to almost anybody. Yeah. Well, the word, I mean, if you don't look, you won't know. So the best thing, if you, if you are in need of that, just give them a call and go in and take a look. If they don't have it, they don't have it, but you, you won't know unless you go and look. Absolutely. So that's awesome. So we've got some other things that go on, too. we got five minutes left. Thank you, Noah. Um, Noah is awesome. I just told him earlier that he reminds me of Superman, and I told him if he wears glasses, I could call him Clark. So get him a cape. Yeah, well, no cape. He's, <laughs> I, well, I guess he could wear a cape, you know, in the in the booth, you know. But uh, he he does a super job here, so he really is a Superman behind the scenes, and we couldn't do this without him. So. Thank, so you, thank you so much, Noah, and thank you to Herbie, who's who's learning how to do that too today. So. Um, the Nye Community Coalition, so don't miss that. Call them, get it all set up, um, go, go get your orientation done, get your classes done, and the expo. Let's talk a little bit about when that is again and where and get the address and phone number. Absolutely. It, it's an employment and, and volunteer expo, and it will be held Friday, February 13th at Nye Communities Coalition from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., if you're a business and you're coming out, we ask that you're there by about 8.30 and set up so that we can open the doors right at 9. And if you're an employment seeker, come in early. If you need clothes, you can go in the clothes closet before it starts. If you need to create a resume, we can do that in the resource room. Uh, that's a 
specifically what I do. Um, you can come out and do all that. So if, from start to finish, come on out and we can get you going. We do everything to, like I said, from the close to how to, to pick up an application and interview all the way through trying to get that position and we can help. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And um, you mentioned Felicia earlier about donating the clothes. So if you have some clothes to donate, um, if, if you do want to donate them, just try to, I mean, just this is just me saying, you know, just keep them nice, make sure it's something someone can use because their time is valuable. So they want to they want to make sure that, you know, it, it's something they can use. Um, don't throw it in a bag and... <laughs> Although there. we don't really mind, right, right, bring but, your clothes in. But it is, you know, it is we'll time consuming. Them, <laughs> it is it time is. consuming to do that. So take them over there. Maybe have them ready for somebody to wear. Um, and then also one more little thing for parents. Uh, well, it's not really a little thing. It's kind of a big deal, and it's a really nice service that My Community Coalitions offers. Felicia is in charge of the car seat program. She is. And so if you call that number, the seven two seven nine nine seven zero, you can set an appointment with her um, if you need to even get your car seat checked. Like if you bought one, you know, you went to Walmart, or you went to Target or wherever and you bought one and, and you just need it installed properly, she can also help you with that. And so I know there's a lot of parents looking for work right now, so parents. I, I just spoke with her this morning and found out that four out of five car seats are actually installed incorrectly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she can definitely check them and make sure that they're installed properly and anybody who's qualified can actually get a brand new car seat from infant till the very end right before they go into a regular seat um, they will they will make sure that they're proper and that based on the size uh, and the weight of your child they're in the the correct seat so absolutely really please important. please give us a call like I said like you said all you have to do is come in and she can check the one you already have let's make sure our kids are safe exactly thank you so much for coming thank so you for having me don't forget to go see Tiffany Shauna Felicia and all the all the ladies over at the Knight Community Coalition don't miss the Employment Expo, February 13th. And just a little add-on, welcome home Vern from KPVM. He is home from the hospital today, and we are very Yay. glad to have him home. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful week.